Well, there's been a lot of question marks concerning the offensive line, but has Brandon Coleman answered some of those questions, and could he be the missing link that puts this whole thing together? And welcome everybody back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg, and this channel, of course, is dedicated to news and commentary for the Washington Commanders. If you're down with that, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And when you do, also make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases. Before we get into today's video, let's talk about saving some money. Have you ever thought, why is my wireless bill so expensive? What are you paying all of that money for? Speed? Coverage? data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text. What about mobile hotspots? Well, with my partners at Mint Mobile, they offer all of those features for as low as $15 a month. And it is very easy to get started with Mint Mobile. How does it work? Well, Mint Mobile works with your digital eSIMS card that most phones nowadays come with. You can be up and running in less than 15 minutes. And if you don't have a digital eSIMS card in your phone, my partners at Mint Mobile will send you a physical SIM for free. That's right, for free. Big Wireless wants you to think that it's too difficult to switch, but Mint Mobile makes it super easy. And their service is outstanding. Standing. I have been testing Mint Mobile for the last couple of months and I have not seen any drops in calls and performance and speed has been outstanding. I can watch YouTube in 4K, movies in 4K. I can even play online video games without any buffering whatsoever. Why pay all of that money for access to premium services when you can get all of those services with Mint Mobile for a fraction of the cost? Switch to Mint Mobile today. Go to trymintmobile.com slash maniacs and get started on your savings. The link will be in the description of this video. Let's get to it. Speaking of getting to it, what was that? What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What I was talking about, Greg, <laughs> was Brandon Goldman, um, who I feel like is, could he be the missing link? Could he be the one who says, you know what, don't worry about the left tackle position, I've got you. He's, uh, from what we've heard from reports, he's had a great training camp. He, he has been pretty solid. Um, and it also sounds like that he can play both a left tackle and right tackle. Uh, we really need somebody at left tackle. So I'm hoping that if he has been that solid, that he will play left tackle for us. Um, there's also been, you know, of course, some reports with um, uh, Cornelius Lucas, who uh, has had some, you know, he, he's been okay, but there's times where he kind of froze and was out of position, things like that. So, um, you know, it really makes you wonder. I mean, the offensive line is such a huge question mark right now. And, of course, I feel like there's two positions within the offensive line that's always going to matter the most. Number one is the left tackle position, especially if you have a right-handed quarterback, which most of the time you tend to have. And so that left tackle, of course, is going to be protecting the blind side of the quarterback. The other position is the center position because especially when you have a young quarterback, you need some help uh, with your center who could be able to help to get all of the protection set, you know, pre-snap uh, protections and that sort of thing. And so uh, being able to have guys like that um, who have solidified those two positions now, it doesn't mean that the rest of the offensive line are just, you know, uh, warm big bodies to fill up space. But um, I'm just saying that those two positions seem to be, seem to be uh, pretty important for the offense, uh, especially for the quarterback, because he needs that blindside protection and also he needs someone to kind of assist with getting protections right because in the beginning it's going to be very difficult for a young quarterback to to just have it all into where he can he can see everything he can get all the protection set and whatsoever um, so you need guys like that even veterans i think appreciate a center who knows how to to get all of the protections right and so uh, those two positions i think are going to be very important but i really think it comes down to the left tackle position being the one that is going to be the key to solidifying the offensive line um you know t 
to me, Adam Peters has done a pretty decent job with bringing in uh, some more guys who I think are probably going to be better quality guys on that offensive line. But we all really felt that maybe he didn't do quite enough for that left tackle position. And so um, you really got to sometimes you got to grow your own guys, right? You got you got to grow your own development, your own time, talent. And so um, maybe just maybe Brandon Coleman's going to be that missing link. Um, I really, I mean, he's got to be, <laughs> you know, because there's not a lot of choices we have there for left tackle. Um, and of course, you know, these other guys too have got to be able to all uh, just gel as one well-oiled unit, right? And be able to um, know what each other is doing beside of them. Because again, this is going to be a little bit of a different uh, protection up front. You know, being the air raid, these guys are, are kind of tend to be spaced out a little bit more than what you have with uh, with other offenses. So um, that's going to be something as well. But um, I, I'm eager to see because I really feel like if the offensive line can be anywhere better than what they were last year, that's really going to help this offense. You you got to be able to have time for your quarterback to be able to throw and. Uh, I think anyway, regardless, there's probably going to be some growing pains, and you're probably going to see Jaden Daniels taking off and running quite a bit, at least in in the beginning. And hopefully, hopefully, things will kind of start to gel with the offensive line. But keep an eye on Brandon Coleman because um, I think hopefully he's going to be the guy who wins uh, that battle at left tackle, and at least we can say that position is is locked down for us. We're okay. I mean, we... Of course, we have been um, so lucky to have guys like Chris Samuel and and uh, uh, you know Trent Williams uh, to solidify that that left tackle position. We've always seemed to do pretty well at that position historically, and so uh, it's really been something. I mean, you know, uh, Charles Leno, I think, did a commendable job on that that side but you know i mean he he did his job he was a what i call a blue collar worker but certainly not the talent level as trent williams and so you know whenever you've had somebody like trent it's really hard to to reproduce that with somebody else so let's see what brandon coleman can do for us but i really think you're going to have him there at left tackle all right folks uh, let me know in the comments what you think Uh, do you agree with that or not That said, I will see you in the next one. Take care.